Hey everyone, this is Pastor Isaac Duesenberry, and today I'd like to share with you a devotion. Our scripture is coming from Lamentations 3, verse 25. And it says, The Lord is good to those who put their hope in Him, to the ones who seek Him. It is good to wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. You know, one of the things we are not good at is waiting, right? It is hard to be patient, it's hard when we're kids. It's hard when we're adults, and it continues to be hard now especially, right? If you think back over your life, it's, it's really hard to cultivate patience. Even when you're a kid, right? You can't wait to get home from school. You can't wait to be done with your homework. You can't wait for Christmas. You can't wait for your birthday. You can't wait for your friends to come over, or your, grand, your grandparents. And then you grow up. You can't wait to quit your job. You can't wait for retirement. You can't wait to get home after a long day. You can't wait to be done in the doctor's office or the DMV or the mechanic or even the barber, right? We're, we're, everyone, everyone has a watch, but no one has the time, so to speak. We are not a very patient culture and it's hard to wait. It's hard to not know. It's hard to be subjected to someone else's timeline. So if you've ever felt that way, I'm right there with you. And especially now in the season of COVID and this horrible pandemic, we can't wait for things to return back to normal or the new normal or whatever, anything but this, right? It's hard to wait. It's hard to be patient. The scripture reminds us that the one thing we don't have to wait for is God's love. We don't have to wait for that. We experience it every day. We've have experienced it every day, even before we were born. We were the recipients of God's love and grace. And we can experience that here and now, no matter what, regardless of our context, our situation, we do not have to wait for God's love. We do not have to be patient for God's love to show up. Now, we might have to wait for God's timing, right? We might have to wait for God's will or plan for us to unfold, right? We are still on God's timeline, not ours. But God promises, promises us to love us always, to love us right here and now, to abide in, in our hearts as we abide in his. And I think that's a really important word for us right now in this, in this season of, of waiting, in this season where patience is harder than ever to cultivate a season in which our patience has been spread thin. That's important to acknowledge too. We've, we've had a lot uh, on our plates this past year and it's been difficult, but God knows that and God sees that and God's been with us through every step of the way and God will continue to be with us every step of the way. So whatever timeline we're on, whatever answers or signs we're waiting to, to see or experience, Whatever's next on our to-do list or our checklist, take a breather, take a moment, sit back and remind yourself that God loves you and God is actively loving you right now. And I wonder what that looks like in your life and in your context. Be thinking about that because this Sunday I'll be preaching about God's love and what it means for us. I, I'm looking forward to exploring it with you uh, in the harbor, if that's where you'll be joining. So think about God's love. Think about the fact that you don't have to wait for it, that you can receive it right here, right now, that God is actively loving you as we speak. And maybe that'll give you the strength you need to endure whatever challenges you're going through now and whatever challenges await you on the horizon. Thanks for listening today. Take care. Be blessed. And I'll see you on Sunday.